Good morning. It's uh, early Friday morning. I came up last night, so Thursday night, and of course it was peeing down rain. It's always raining when I get up here. Uh, so I take it this is going to be my project this week. See if I can get these beams on top of those posts. You know, as much as I've been going on about them not looking forward to this part, I have to admit there would have been easier ways to do this. I could have laminated beams up there out of dimensional lumber, but uh, these are what I had. And uh, that's sort of the whole point behind this progress or program. Making do with what I've got. Again, it's what I've got, so uh, gonna try this. I'll try to bring you along for the uh, journey. Later, people. Okay, see if I can explain what I'm doing here. I own what I call a log dolly. It's uh, two 15 inch tires with a short axle between it and uh, a rack for putting these timbers on and then I can just push them around wherever I want. But it needs two tubes apparently because I use some very old rims the tube size is unavailable so they're on order and uh, means I have no log dolly and I need to get these timbers way over there and I don't feel like carrying them so we've hooked a chain up with a cable and over here to this little winch. It's a cheapy $89 at Princess Auto wrapped around the uh, pier of the cabin. It should just skid them over here then I can uh, chain it over there and skid them that way. So. Uh, Hopefully, this will work and uh, I won't bust a gut doing it. So, uh, I'm going to get this done and get back to you later. Okay, put that piece of ABS pipe under the front, just so it can roll a little bit. Got the cable. Things are looking good. My chair, so I can just sit here, push the button and watch your winch. Generator running. It uh, puts out 12 volts, charges the battery, and she's tipping over. Oh, maybe not. Anywho, I'm going to sit here for about 10 minutes and uh, get back to you later. And there we go. Now I just need to unchain, hook the winch to one of the corner posts of the uh, carport, and start all over again. But the good news is, Hey, I didn't break a sweat doing this. Just sat right here and pushed the button. <laughs> I like being lazy. Okay, and here we are, my next setup. Chain there. Gonna have to push the back end over as it winches. And uh, way down over here. I'm chained to the bottom of that post. So again, going to fire up the generator that puts 12 volt out to charge the battery. The battery powers the GP winch. Hopefully this works because uh, like I said I like being lazy. Later. And there we go. Took uh, maybe half an hour. Oh that's better. I'm not going to say it was effortless. There was a lot of prying and prodding and shifting and adjusting and yada yada yada. Now goes the fun part. Up there on top. And uh, in case you're wondering, I can pick one end up, but I certainly cannot pick up the whole timber. So that, I got a plan, but that'll be after lunch. So later. Okay. Uh, Ready to get back at it again, with just a side note. I uh, 
had some venison up there I've got some pork up there I've got rice up there and I brought up this it's the butter I canned a few videos back so without refrigeration I can store butter and it's here whenever I need to do any cooking cool eh? okay later okay it's taken me a couple hours but this is my setup cable around here up over that 4x6 I put temporarily up there here at the back of the uh, carport tractor port okay pulley up there on the tree another pulley at the bottom here winch here chain down to uh, this 4x6 going between the posts I think it should be uh, rather straightforward. I'll let you know how it happens later. Well, it's getting there. That's a couple hours so far. And I'm gonna guess 75 trips up and down there to pry and prod and lever and keep trying. Oh, I need to adjust the winch cable again. Yay. I'll be back later. Well, it's like four o'clock and uh, I had it up there and then I dropped it. Crap, not quite sure what I'm gonna do now. Actually even pulled the whole frame out of square when it let go. Ah, crap. I think maybe I'm just gonna go make some supper. Oh, not happy. Well, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm re-evaluating the entire project. <sighs> Long night, didn't sleep much. Fussing. <sighs> A couple of things have changed since I started this. It was built so tall to uh, allow me to put a water tank up the top and have gravity feed to the outhouse. Since that time, I have been given a very large water pressure tank, which means it's a commercial one, which means I don't need the gravity feed. Now I'm wondering whether I should just cut it down, get it to a reasonable height, and uh, start again. Uh, I'm also thinking about putting a lean-to on that side and that side to store firewood. So at this point in time, today, I'm uh, reorganizing inside the cabin and uh, thinking things over. I don't know how much more I'm going to get done this weekend. I uh, am still licking my wounds because upon hindsight why didn't I see this happening? Uh, definitely an error in my approach. So I don't know. Later people. Well, this is what I'm up to now hand winch. I broke the electric one when the beam hit it. Uh, up here to the top of the post. When that beam came down, it came down like a battering ram and blew all my braces off. It really knocked us out of square. So, winching it back into position. It uh, is actually going easier than I thought it was going to. I uh, need to move over to that post now. Huh. Later. Okay, well, we're square again and braced up a little stronger than we were before. Now my, uh, I just got a plan on what I'm going to do. It's about 3 o'clock on Saturday. I have to be back early tomorrow to meet one of my daughters. Um, she wants to pick up the centerpieces. 
watch a few videos back that'll make sense. Um, right now I'm leaning towards cutting this down, making it not quite so uh, silly tall. I um, guess I've got a week to decide. I uh, called my second daughter last night and uh, told her what had happened and told her I was thinking about uh, just not releasing a video this week and uh, got chewed out about that. She said it's a story, this is part of it, and I should share it. But crap, I hate being stupid. <sighs> Later, people. So, I'm taking a few moments here, uh, since I don't feel like, well, I just don't feel like <sighs> cleaning out the stovepipe. And this, folks, is why you have to creosote. Stove wasn't drawn right, and this pipe was almost plugged. Anywho, a little preventative maintenance, eh? Later. Well, good morning. It's Sunday. Uh, I have to head back shortly. Um, brought up some more canned goods. Not quite sure why they call them canned goods when you put them in a bottle, but uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs and two pork loins. I cut into chops. There's two chops in each jar. Oh, got some oatmeal, cornmeal, yeah, of course the butter, lots of sugar, lots of rice, venison up here, more pork loin. Yeah, sort of like being prepared. I intend on being up here this winter and uh, wouldn't be surprised if I got snowed in for a while. Anywho, it has been a Bruce Willis weekend. Gotta like Bruce Willis killing people. Anywho, I'm off. Um, remember folks, it's the journey not the destination, which I really have to keep reminding myself of this weekend. I think I'm going to shorten that building later. Remember folks, it's the journey, not the destination. <laughs>